Today I have a 15 inch wood edged glued board from Lowe's. When I measure it, it measures 14 inches. So just keep that in mind. But on the, on the label, it says 15 inch. So I'm gonna start by putting a piece of tape at the top and at the bottom and leaving the middle, I'm gonna do three different panels here on this circle. I'm gonna start by in the center doing some General Finishes gel stain. It's just a brush on, wipe off. This is an antique walnut. Once that's completely dry, I'm gonna tape that off and I'm just going on the edge and keep my tape on the inside to keep that part stained. And I'm gonna add the Snow Owl by Wise Owl on the bottom and top portion. Guys, I just measured, I just eyeballed these tape lines, but you most certainly can measure if you want it perfectly even. I did need two coats, and now we're gonna be dealing with our Roy Cycled Buffalo Check tissue paper. You can find this at chalkitupfancy.com along with the paint products. And I used the pinking shears to cut my edge that's gonna be seen. And then I eliminated some of the excess paper at the bottom and I'm gonna be decoupaging this to the white areas. Now I did paint white first because having this white underneath is gonna keep my tissue paper, the colors nice and bright. And I'm be using my one hour enamel clear on the bottom as the glue. I'm gonna put some ceram wrap down I'm going to use my brayer to get out the wrinkles and make sure my paper is making contact with my project. And then I'm going to give a top coat of the one hour enamel clear. And while I'm doing this top coat, I am hitting the stained area because I did want a top coat on that as well. Again, I'm putting the one hour enamel down underneath. I'm doing this in sections, laying my paper down, using the saran wrap as my barrier. And this will just help you uh, with the brayer and not tearing the paper. And then the top coat of the one hour enamel clear. And I'm gonna put that aside to dry. Once dry, I'm gonna take some uh, a sanding block and I'm gonna hit the edge of the excess tissue paper. And the sandpaper just gives you um, a very nice edge it's very clean and it takes that paper right off with not much issue I'm going to take my one hour enamel clear again and put another top coat over top of everything and allow that to dry and it does dry in one hour we're going to be using our sunflower afternoon transfer And this comes with three smaller panels and a transfer stick. So I'm just gonna come up with a plan and cut out the flowers and place them as I wish. And this is just basically, you're gonna take the stick and you're gonna rub over the image until it begins to release off the paper. So these are laying on a protective backing that once you take it off, um, the back is no longer protected and you want to wait till you lay it down. You don't want to touch anything else. You're going to rub your stick over the image and then there's a film over the top that releases. And your placements can be whatever you wish. I just love the yellow with the black and white buffalo check.
Now it's very important that you have that one hour enamel clear down before you lay your transfers down. They like a slick surface to adhere to and I had no issues with these at all. They stuck very beautifully. You can overlap your transfers and I feel like this project demonstrates how you can put your transfers over tissue paper as well. Now once you have everything down you want to make sure you take a lint-free cloth and you give it a good rub and this just makes sure that your image has adhered to your project. Now I'm going to be using the sweet home of this a Maker Studio mesh stencil but you most certainly can use any stencil any word that you want in the center and I'm going to be using the sweet home and I'm going to be using the white in the Maker Studio ink and I'm applying it with our rubber applicator. You can find this at chocolateofancy.com. You can find the mesh stencil at chocolateofancy.com. And once I lifted that, I just took the home and put it on the other side. I did give a final coat of the one hour enamel clear. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateofancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfer, or mesh stencils, chocolateofancy.com. Thank you.